My name is Eddie Toffby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your weekly technical analysis of Paris Rapeseed, Winnipeg Canola and Malaysian Palm Oil Markets. I'll start with Paris Rapeseed. Now three weeks ago we had a weekly key reversal up. I mentioned it at the time and I was unsure about it because the following week prices traded with an indecisive spinning tops and indecisive doji crosses all that week bar the Wednesday. It was the week after Easter and it seems everyone was taking it easy a bit. However, Tuesday last week saw a big move higher, breaching the 2013 high at 464 and a quarter. On Wednesday prices really started motoring higher with new highs not seen since early last decade. Only Friday of last week showed any hesitation, even with a new recent high at the time. However, this was soon dispelled this past Muslim Monday as the bullish move higher continued. So where are we going now? Well, the bullish Andrews pitchfork I have drawn for the February to March action is there to show the bullish angle of attack. I am not convinced of the lower or upper tides of this pattern. We do however have, have some GAN numbers nearby at 504 even, 513 even and 522. Though again, I am not very confident in them at this time. More interesting overhead is the congestion from September 2012 between 513 and 3 quarters and 519 and a half, within which sits the recent projected 100% Fibonacci level at 517 even. Above all this is the all-time high from July 2012 at 524 and 3 quarters. These are the levels to look for topside. Meanwhile below I'd like to draw your attention to the projected 50% Fibonacci line at 487 even. Unfortunately the market sliced through this like a hot knife through butter on the way up. So I suspect that it may not be that strong if tested. Winnipeg Canola. Two weeks ago I reiterated an idea I had previously put forward well five weeks ago. The idea of a bearish bump and run reversal top for the action since December, tw to, uh, December 2020 until the end of March. It seemed a reasonable proposition at the time. Even the small bump up of the late October 2020 today uptrend currently at 7.33 even fitted in with this pattern. It all depended on when the market would break the uptrend to confirm such a pattern. Well, as we all know, there was no true break. And last week the market shot up off the combination of the uptrend, short medium moving average currently at 7.42 and a quarter, and the short moving average currently 7.50 and a half. By Tuesday of this week, they had broken the earlier all time high from March 20. 08 at 770 even. Then yesterday prices punched up and closed over the new all time high from March to 8, 810 even. Coincidentally, a GAN number. Today they are higher still. This vehemently stronger bullish market has allowed me to draw fresh bullish Andrews and Schiff pitchforks for the January to March action. The market is currently testing the upper time, currently. 8.35 and 3 quarters of the bullish shift pitchfork and the nearby GAN number at 8.37 even. Beyond these the next significant overhead resistances are now the projected 50% Fibonacci levels at 8.74 and 3 quarters and 8.98. Bursa Malaysia crude palm oil. Two weeks ago I drew a new mid-October 2020 to late January 2021 bullish shift pitchfork, which replaced the more acutely bullish Andrews pitchfork. It's a much better fit in showing the bullish angle of attack of this market, particularly the middle time currently at 41.06. Other than that, the most significant feature has been the creation of another island, this time on the downside. I'm really not sure how to acknowledge these two islands other than to simply realize that they are there, aesthetically seeming to balance each other out. Anyway, one other feature that I would like to draw your attention to is this. 
The recent actions since the low in January has allowed me to draw a slightly more acute bullish shift pitchfork for the January to late March move. I suspect that this nascent bullish pitchfork may become important as the market today is sitting in between the two middle tides. The older middle tide is below, currently at 41.06 as I've already mentioned, and the newer middle tide is above, currently at 42.33. I'm not aware at this time of any other patterns or of significance here, but I will continue to monitor the situation, especially as we come closer to the March high at 43.17. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.